just let any job law in, you know what I mean? Like, can't just let anyone in. We, it's something that we're supposed to pass on to our children and our grandchildren, you know, it's a sacred family. Um, what made me want to join is Antifa. Antifa are the ones that maybe want to join. You got men throwing bricks at women and children, throwing bags of piss and shit at people, attacking people on scooters. And like, I do, I wasn't political at all. I don't care about left versus right, but that's up, dude. Like, it makes me emotional even because I got grandparents that want to go out there and stand up for their rights. But seeing Antifa attack them, that's what made me want to. Our elderly, our elderly and our women and children, that's why I joined the Proud Boys. To be here, and you know what? I might have to go to work tomorrow on Monday with a black guy. But I'd rather do it and then you go to work with a broken jaw. You know what I mean? So that's why I joined the Pack Boys. I'd rather I'd rather deal with it than my kids have to deal with it. In all honesty, that's why I joined. And like the brotherhood is great, but we got we have I was, we have something we're fighting for. That's why I, be, I joined the Proud Boys. So like, the brotherhood is great, but uh, I, I joined it because I wanted to beat up some f-ing commies, man. Like, and I hate to paint that picture, but you know what? And that's why I joined, but I found a better family and it made me a better person. I woke up. Uh, fighting Antifa is 10% of what the Proud Boys are about. There's 90% of what the media does not see and what we're about. But I found through our buddy Rufio, our local Portland Proud Boy, that punched her around the world. Someone hit him with the baton and he knocked that fool out. Yeah, that, that, I was, okay, so how I heard about the Proud Boys, the exact story. I was working on Horizon High School. I'm an electrician. I was running a four inch pipe underneath the school, sweating my balls, listening to Alex Jones. Shout out to InfoWars. Uh, Alex Jones, and he's like, I'm bringing on Rufio Paraman of the Proud Boys. And he's talking about, he's actually, um, he's, he didn't make it this week. He's, 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 got, he's attending a wedding, actually. Um, so, um, long story short, I was like, wait, there's a group of men who have the same core beliefs as I do. And they're actually together standing up against Antifa. I thought I was the only one. I thought me and my foreman were the only Mexicans in, in Colorado that wanted to go fight against Antifa. And then sure, but, but there was already a group like that. So we heard about it. And I was like, I want to join the Proud Boys. I crawled out the crawl space, wiped out my sweat, found the Proud Boys on Twitter. I hit them up. And uh, I talked to someone. And honestly, the dude who was in charge of the Denver Twitter ended up moving chapters. And he lost the Twitter. So... It was right place at the right time. I was listening to Alex Jones again, like two months later, like way after the words. Me, my, me and my foreman were listening to Alex Jones. This dude comes in and he goes, you Mexican boys conservatives? And we're like, yeah. He's like, well, that's cool. We can't really talk about that on job sites. So we started listening. He's like, yeah, how long have you guys been listening to Alex Jones? We're like, oh, yeah, about a year now, you know. So we're listening to it. And he goes, uh, have you boys ever been to a rally? And I was like, I've never been to a rally, but I do want to go to a rally and I want to fight Antifa with the Proud Boys. And he goes, my roommate's a Proud Boy. He's like a high ranking member. He's like an officer or something. We exchanged numbers. And uh, I ended up showing up to our Proud Boy meeting with the case of Corona, up and carrying a gun. They shook my hand. They said, welcome brother. And I got interviewed and did my vetting process and never seen that guy again. No, no, it was meant to be, man. And like, and um, that is a similar story you'll get with a lot of these guys. It's it's truly a divine intervention. Like a lot of us, this fraternity has saved a lot of our lives. Like made us better men. And it sounds corny to say it, but this brotherhood does save save lives. And that's why we're out here protecting lives. Is what we want to do. You know, and like. So what do you say to you know people who say like? Uh, Proud Boys are just violent, like they're coming with guns, they just want to murder Antifa, like I've heard a lot of that. What do you say to that sort of thing? It's poor media. Yeah, they're, they're being they're being told something that's not true and people will believe it, you know? Like, if you look at us, we like we do kind of look aggressive. Yeah, but we're a bunch of grown-ass men with tattoos, we're f***ing fit, we go, we're, we're ready to get whomped on, you know? We're, we're not a bunch of f***ing pussies. So... They just seeing that people see it as being aggressive when we're really not. You can literally, I guarantee, you can walk up to any of these guys and ask for a hug, and I guarantee any of you, uh, any of them will hug you. Like I, I could do it. <laughs> like literally, any of these guys will give you a hug. Now, if you need a water, I guarantee any. Of you, you go ask for a water bottle. If they don't have it, they will find you one. You know. So it's like 
perception, you know, and bad media. Literally, if you want to get to know us, walk up to us and if, buy me a beer, dude, and you're going to be my best friend for the next 30 minutes, honestly, dude. Like, we're really easy to get along with, so it's like... Well, that's really interesting. We are, we are drinkers, we are brawlers, but we're God-fearing men, and that's not all we are, you know? So if they, they see us as a certain way, we'll just get to know us, because we can be that way, but it's, that's not who we are, you know? And... Um, I appreciate you asking that as well. Yeah, I'm really interested. I, I really, really want to know. I think another thing that, that people say is that Proud Boys are, are racist, like white supremacist, um, neo-Nazis, alt-right, like all of that. That's just, the, that's just the new word for boogeyman in the media now. Anyone you don't agree with is a Nazi now. If I have stricter rules than you, I'm considered a Nazi, you know. Dude, one of my best friends right here has literally got a Jew. He's, a ki he's, he's Jewish. He's got a kippah on. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.